Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Anyway, one of the most common questions I get is for a recommendation on a budget soldering iron. Something that you can use on your first soldered keyboard build. So I got this budget iron from Banggood. It's called the Sun Eryigo SH-72, which cost me around 500 Philippine pesos or 10 USD. It's technically not the cheapest soldering iron, but it's the most interesting one that I found. Anyway, if I'm not mistaken, San Ye Go translates to 3 to 1 Go in English. So let's proceed with the unboxing first. I also ordered extra soldering tips. I got the SHB2, which is a conical tip. This is usually the default tip on most soldering irons and the SHD24 which is a chisel tip and is actually my favorite tip for soldering. Okay, let's proceed to opening the box. There really isn't much inside the box. You get a user manual, a default tip which I was allowed to choose during ordering. I recommend that you pick a chisel or a conical tip. And finally, the soldering iron itself. Next, let's take a look at the specs. It's a 65 watts iron that works with a 12 to 24 volts DC power supply. Its power actually varies depending on the supplied voltage. At 12 volts, it's only 18 watts. To get maximum power of 65 watts, you need 24 volts power supply. By the way, the wattage or power does not affect the maximum temperature that the iron can reach. Having a higher power or wattage affects how fast the soldering iron heats up. The higher the power, the faster it reaches or maintains its desired operating temperature. Speaking of power supply, the package doesn't include one, so you have to buy it separately. In my case, I'm using a generic 24 volts 5 ampere generic power adapter, but you have to manually build and attach the required wires for your application. In this case, the soldering iron supports a DC5525 plug that translates to a 5.5mm outer diameter by 2.5mm inner diameter DC plug. Before buying an adapter, try to look around your house. You might have an old laptop power brick or perhaps a 12 volts adapter lying around. As long as it's 1.5 amperes, it should be able to use or you should be able to use it with your iron. An example is this power adapter that came with my LED video lights. It's 12 volts, 1.5 amperes. I've tried using this and it works perfectly with the soldering iron. I'd also like to mention that one advantage of having a separate power supply is that just in case later you decide to upgrade to a better soldering iron, let's say something like the TS100, you can use the same power supply on your new iron. Let's move to performance. If you've seen some of my other videos, you might have noticed me using this soldering iron for a couple of keyboard builds already. I believe I've used this on my Practice 65 build and the Gingham. And all I can say is, despite its budget price, it actually performs pretty good. It heats up fast and maintains heat very well during consecutive soldering sequences. Overall, for its price, there isn't really much to complain about its performance. Anyway, here are more videos of the SH-72 in action.
After using the SH-72 on two soldered keyboard builds, I really didn't encounter any issues with it. Perhaps my only issue with this soldering iron is that the temperature dial is not properly aligned. But then, that could be unique to the copy that I got. Next, let's see what's inside. Opening up the solder reveals what looks like a classic op-amp comparator circuit to control the temperature. It may not be as precise as a PAD controller that's found on more expensive soldering irons, but it's still as effective in regulating the temperature. So there you have it, the Sunner Yigo SH-72. A very interesting, temperature-controlled, changeable tip, portable budget soldering iron. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.